Welcome to our Highball Hub identification class. And here is where we discuss most of the natural remedies that we have in nature and what God has blessed us with that we can use to regenerate, alkalize and rejuvenate ourselves and our system. So today we are going to look at the herb that is called um, cat's claw. And cat's claw is called Uncaria tomentosa. In, uh, that is by, uh, by uh, botanical name. And it is always known for gene repairation. It is a gene repairer. It means if your genes are having a problem, there's no interconnection, this is a hub to think about and put as a major ingredient in your treatments. This is how it looks like and it is commonly found in the forests. It grows in hilly areas as well as along the fence. It's as close like the cat, that is why it is named Casclo. And if you peel the bark, the bark is yellowish in color or the roots are also yellowish in color. And that's a bitter taste. Cat's claw is a tropical vine which can grow up to 98 feet tall. Its name comes from its hooked thorns, which resembles the claws of the cat. The bark and root have been used for centuries in South Africa as a traditional medicine for many conditions such as inflammation, cancer, and infections. Cat's claw supplements can be taken as a liquid extract, capsule, powder, or tea. Now, what you need to know about it is that uh, uh, most people use it to, to treat cancers because uh, cat's claw is, uh, is it, it blocks the ATP supply to the, to the cancer cells or to the tumor. So when it blocks that ATP supply, the cancer is not able to feed. And uh, that will make the cancer not to grow uh, further. And it also helps in uh, uh, stopping the angiogenesis process of the cancer cells. That is why it is majorly used in the treatment of the cancers. And... Uh, uh, it is also helpful in uh, removing inflammation like arthritis and uh, sometimes for autoimmunity. It is also a powerful hub for autoimmunity because it boosts, it boosts the immune cells. Uh, it also helps the suppressor cells to work on the uh, on the on the other invaders or the pathogens that get into the system, like the virus and the bacteria and the uh, protozoans. Uh, so it is, it is that broad spectrum into the line of disease-causing agents. Cuts close supplements, as we've said, can be taken in liquid extract that you use the, you, you can decoct the, the roots, you take the roots, let them stay in water overnight. Uh, let's say you have a pound of the, the roots, you'll use four liters of water, soak it there overnight, and in the morning you will simmer it for about 30 minutes to make sure that it is concentrated. You need to know how to make a third power or the seventh power extraction. For the seventh power extraction, using water is where you have really extracted a lot of medicinal a lot of its medicinal properties by soaking it overnight in uh, for one kilo you put four liters of water in the morning don't pour all that water but use that water in the preparation uh, process by simmering it for 30 minutes and when it is uh, when it has been cool after 30 minutes you'll have to uh, you will have to decant or sieve it out and add a half a liter, uh, add, add, add like a quarter of the kilos of the, of, the, of the powder of these herbs and then boil it again for 10 minutes and sieve out. What remains is the seventh power of the herb 
and it's very powerful. You just take three tablespoons after every three hours for any chronic disease. You can encapsulate it or crush it into powder or just boil the roots and use. The leaves are also used, the stem bark are also used, and the root barks are also used. But major cons the, the more a large, a large concentration of the phytochemicals are found in the roots. Um, now, as we continue, um, it boosts immunity. Casclo may support your immune system, possibly helping fight infection more effectively. A small study in 24, 27 men found that consuming 700 milligrams of casclo extra for two months increased their number of white blood cells, which are involved in combating infections. Another small study in four men gives casclo extract for six weeks, noted the same result. Casclo seems to work both by boosting your immune response and calming an, an overactive immune system. Its anti-inflammatory properties could be responsible for its immune benefits. So we use it for autoimmune diseases like autism, um, Lyme's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, res resus factor problems and uh, 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 lupus, just name all those kinds of the autoimmune diseases that you know. Taking a tea out of it every day, twice a day, it's so important in lowering the, uh, this, the, the autoimmunity that takes place. It relieves the symptoms of osteoarthritis in an eight-week study, a supplement of casclo and maca root, a Peruvian medis medicinal plant, reduced pain and stiffness in people with osteoarthritis. In addition, participants needed pain medication less frequently. So if we use it more and more and follow the loss of health, good diet, plant-based diet, and loss of fruits and vegetables and seeds and nuts, you are able to eliminate arthritis easily. It relieves symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. As with osteoarthritis, casclo is thought to reduce inflammation in your body, easing rheumatoid arthritis symptoms as a result. And these are the diseases that it reverses, the cancer, uh, more so the leukemia, uh, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and uh, the bone cancers. It helps uh, limit viral infection. In fact, most of the people use it for uh, venereal diseases, the bacterial diseases, syphilis, gonorrhea, apizosta, um, apis simplex, to help in removal of the virus or bacteria that causes the STDs. It helps to calm your system. You will tend to sleep after taking it. It also help in alleviating allergies. Allergies, I told us before, that is the result of a, a toxic system. If your colons cannot move well, your kidney cannot work well, the antihistamine reaction will begin to, uh, to, 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 to pop up in your system. So allergies are as a result of a toxic blood. You need to go on a cleansing system uh, and clean your bowels, do enemas, the high enemas. You can, uh, you can make a tea of senna, uh, uh, like a liter of, of, of senna tea. That is about four, uh, four tablespoons of senna, boil for 10 minutes, and then you see after it has cooled, you put it in your enema bag and do a colon cleanse with that. Uh, or you can just use senna for internal cleansing. Uh, the first thing you have to do to remedy any defect in your system, any disease, is cleansing, opening the elimination channels. Make sure that your lungs are working properly, your liver working properly, your kidney working properly, your lymphatic system are eliminating well, your blood vessels are eliminating well, your colon is eliminating well, your brain is at peace and eliminating all the toxic uh, feed up that you have given into it. You have to trust in divine power. So another thing is uh, it is good for high blood pressure. And this we've tested and proven because it thins the blood. 
And that may pose a challenge if someone is taking blood thinners, you may experience uh, bleeding, nose bleeding sometimes. But you don't need to use it with any hypertensive because it will make your blood to be so, so thin. If someone is going through a heart attack or a high blood pressure crisis, you, if you, and you have a tincture of it, you just put 10 mils under the tongue and it will be able to normalize your blood, uh, your blood pressure. Use for gout because it eliminates the uric acid deposits. Uh, for stomach and bowel disorders, for asthma, ovarian cyst, um, in fact, is very effective for ovarian cyst. So if you mix it with uh, Kigelia africana and the plantain, and you take a sativa and lemongrass also, it will be able to shrink the cyst, even the breast, uh, the mammarian gland cyst. It's also effective for AIDS. Currently, there is someone we are helping with the AIDS, and one of the tinctures I'm using is cat's claw. And the last time there was a check, the viral load had decreased to a half. And so we are going to the stage two of the uh, still marinating and eliminating that virus, as well as building the immunity and uh, setting the system in order. Uh, what are the contraindications? It is generally advised that the following groups of people should avoid or limit cat's claw. The breath, pregnant or breastfeeding women, people with certain medication conditions like person in hypertensives has to leave the hypertensive after about uh, uh, two days, then you come back to the use of or, or the use of cat's claw or you limit, you, you take it in low doses. Today, if you take a half a glass of the cat's claw, tomorrow you take, uh, if, you, if you begin with a quarter glass of the cat's claw, the following day you, you go to um, half a glass and three quarters and then a full glass, and then the body should have uh, actually uh, conformed. And with the high blood pressure, you need to get things ready because sometimes you may have an attack. You must have your cayenne. When you're having high blood pressure attack, take cayenne. Or you can chew a lot of garlic. Or you can take um, uh, essential oil of cloves. You can also do a garlic enema, which does it very quickly in lowering the blood pressure. Or go on a contrast, contrast bath. Drink a lot of water, lemon water or tamarind water to help with the uh, uh, high blood pressure crisis. People taking certain medication, as we've said, those having pressure or cholesterol or cancer, blood clotting, yeah, you need to actually be very careful. Well, so uh, I believe that you have understood and you've learned and we are continuing to learn that health to restore health it means we have to build a strong immune system and the body work as a system not singly so all the laws of health must be followed in order to uh, to stabilize the system proper nutrition um, uh, regular exercise plenty of water enough rest and uh, full uh, fresh air most of the morning air you have to rest uh, having proper rest to work temperately and do not overwork eat that which is right for your system and discard that which is not good for you be in the sun uh, in the morning hours in the evening hours and then trust in divine power the bible says in psalms 107 verses 20 he sent his word and healed them we need to trust in God and help those who are in need. Pray for the sick. Do not um, put a lot of attention in your condition because you will be worshipping your problem. And we don't want that. We only worship one person and that is God the Father. God bless you.